And let's get more now on Brazil. Anthony Pieria is the director of the King's Brazil Institute. He explains what has contributed to Rousseff's deep unpopularity, which has spurred on the impeachment proceedings. I think it's a combination of things. The, the, the mismanagement is part of it, but there was also a drop in commodity prices that affected Brazil. Um, there was also a sort of structural imbalance where government spending um, kept increasing, and that's partly because of the constitutional mandates that any president has. Um, so it was a gradual process. I mean, growth was mediocre early on in Jomo Rousseff's presidency, and then it, you know, now in the last two years, we've seen a retraction of about almost 4%. Both 2016 and 2015 looks like a pretty brutal recession. Um, so I think one of the things that was a characteristic of the second Lula term and um, uh, the first of Dilma Rousseff's terms was that the industrial policy, the idea of the state um, protecting certain industries um, was very prevalent and there were some good reasons for doing these things but the program sort of got out of control where uh, it became a sort of process where more and more industries wanted some sort of sectoral assistance, whether it was a tax break, whether it was a tariff on imports, uh, whether it was some kind of help. And this, these programs ballooned and they were, they've already been scaled back. I mean, Dilma in her second term has, been, uh, has walked away from those sorts of policies and Michelle Temer will, will continue a more uh, liberal approach to economic management.